And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. And sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And this marks the end of the group stage for these two countries here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Portugal against the United States. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Here's how it looks for the United States. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And now they get the ball rolling. On the offensive. But nothing comes of it. Rose Lavelle. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Great opportunity. And a goal. They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And is she going to score from here? And that is offside. Well, the attack looks promising. It needs an accurate cross. The fans imploring her to shoot. Determined defending. Another block. Well, decent save there. Over it comes. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Promising looking attack. In position. And a touch of finesse. Well, she wasn't all that far away with that chip. 
Yeah, she just puts a little bit too much on it, but it was a really good effort, though. Jacinto and a tidy challenge oh she's in a really promising position still a chance really sound goalkeeping well that had to be a goal didn't it what a stop that is and the referee has given the corner so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead and still dangerous Carolina Menge. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Well, a good tackle. Beautifully disguised ball. And the keeper there to deal with it. Played over. Not really the ideal clearance. Danger averted for now. Being pressed hard. And that a play for a USA throw in. Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Pressing high to win the ball. And cutting inside, able to deal with the threat. Oh, a perfectly timed pass, and the keeper more than equal to it. Can someone get on the end of this? It hasn't come to very much. It might be. Two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, but the scoreline standing at 2-0. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Well, nicely cut out. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So, back in business. And Portugal's difficulties there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Sullivan. Now with Rodman. And providing width. Cross fired over. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And it might be. Great work defensively, but still the chance. Crossed into the penalty area. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper.
Fox. Andy Sullivan. Morgan. Options in the middle. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Kika Nazareth. And the United States have it back now. Tatiana Pinto. Well, failing in her quest to keep it in play. And a throw in coming up. It's a perfect challenge. Breaking at pace. Defenders need to cover. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. And they need to get tighter. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Into the final 20 minutes. Poor pass. An incisive pass. Opportunity here. Goal at her mercy. And she simply had to score. But not much defending going on in all honesty. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Goal! Three goals without reply. Just 15 minutes remaining. And winning it back. Working really well as a team to regain possession. Nicely timed tackle. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a decent save. Full credit. So, making the substitution now. And well, they're going for the short one. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Can they hit on the break? And in with a real chance. Great defending. And really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Jacinto Nazareth she's made a really important challenge excellent refereeing advantage in operation there will be oh big chance is it going to be and the final whistle is sounded it is a win for the USA that's the big headline here Stuart your thoughts you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.